It's Matt So Serious. A Matt just playing. We back, man. We finna watch another one. Finna watch Avatar 2 trailer. Avatar 2, man. Avatar. When did Avatar come out before? It's been a long time since we've seen anything from Avatar. They've been putting out uh, stuff before of when Avatar was supposed to come out. They did the they dropped the thing or it got leaked about and they showed the little Avatar baby saying, hey, we possibly gonna have another Avatar. Avatar came out um, October 31st, was it 2009? And it's 2022 right now. And we're looking at having an Avatar 2, which ought to be crazy because Avatar 1 or the regular Avatar was ridiculous. And then now there's people saying stuff about Avatar 3, Avatar 4, how this stuff is gonna be, how it's gonna look. Hitman Pain. You know what I mean? Different it. things in that nature. Just a moment. And uh, I mean, we really don't know what's gonna happen. So, we, 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 there's so much to expect, though, because of everything that happened in the movie. Like, uh, he basically went with the people. He got in tune with them. He was supposed to be going just to do research, and instead of just doing research, he actually ended up like finding out their ways of the natives and uh, falling in love. And um, just becoming one with the people. So then he was like, all right, the humans are trying to do some bullshit. So at that point, he was like, all right, I'm going to fight with the natives, with the Avatar, those people, because the he gave up being a human being to, you know what I'm saying, go with them and do that. And, uh, to, you know, basically they found out what he was doing before that. And, um, you know, they, they, just, they just owned him. Like, you know, they brought him around, showed him everything, and then you, you know, you helping out the sky people. You know what I mean? We, we brought you in and showed you everything. We could have left you out to, you know what I'm saying, be killed by all this stuff in our world that you have no idea about. You don't even know what to eat. You don't know what to touch. You don't know anything. But we brought you in and we did that. And instead of you, you know what I'm saying, be real, being real and like taking that, you were, you, you were part of a pond. You, you were part of the plan, like, and you just kept with that. So to show his, you know, dedication, his devotion, now, I remember, too, he couldn't walk. It was like his legs didn't work. So him being in the Avatar helped him to be able to be mobile and move again and have his legs and stuff like that. When he came back to a regular person and being a man, his legs did not work. He was in and out of the machine like they would help him or he was strong enough that he would get in and out of the machine. So, now you got all that has transpired and they're fighting and they're about to tear up the island. They want to build, you know, some, some, some bullshit. And uh, then he goes and he, like he's trying to figure out a way to become fully with the people. He stay at Avatar basically forever because that's when he feels like he has a home. He doesn't feel like he has a home anywhere or anymore as far as with the actual human beings. I mean, he wants to go with the Avatar to be home. Somewhere where he feels like he belongs. So. There's a lot to transpire. He also, um, to show them that he was, you know, one of the regular people. Another thing that he did to show his, you know, his devotion, his dedication, uh, showed them that he was loyal is he went and found, like before they had this big bird and like death from above. And if you were riding, you know, one of the, the avatars, the things th they ride to fly, you connect to, if you arrive one of those and you seen that big bird from up above, that mean like you you were finna die. Like that bird was gonna go get you. So they were scared of that bird. That bird was also linked to them with their ancestors. So there was like, as far as they knew, there was one person who was able to get on that bird, ride them, and tame them. And somehow, you know, him coming up with his mind, he was like, I gotta show these people that I'm him. You know what I mean? That I really am loyal. And uh, I forget what they called it, but uh, they were he was able to go get the bird, bring the bird back. When they saw the shadow, they were like, oh, man, scared. You know what I mean? They were afraid of that bird. As, as, as much as they were not afraid of anything, they were afraid of that particular bird. But he was able to tame that bird, ride that bird, and bring him back, showing them like, hey, I'm, I'm him. So they thought that there was a sign from their ancestors, the people they thought it was a sign they should follow. So then they got behind them and they were ready to ride. They were ready to go to war. So they go on a war and everything like that at the end of this movie, you know what I mean? And uh, 
they call it, then he gets, he connects and then he gets to all of the avatars and all of the native people from different, uh, I guess you would consider islands or in different places. And they were able to all come together and fight, right? Should be the end, right? Nah, so let's jump into this movie after I gave y'all a little bit of the background that's just if you forgot about the Avatar movie. And if y'all feeling me right now, y'all go ahead and lock in, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know y'all. Matter of fact, comment if y'all think too, because I know a lot of movies, like when you had the first one, it's very good. Like the Fast and Furious series, they figured out how to make the movie better and better and better or just different. And um, Avatar 2 now, especially with being, being this long, you know, over 10 years, y'all think the movie's going to be better or worse? So let's jump into this. Uh, then I'm going to ask y'all again. So let's jump into this right now. Let's see what's going on. December 16th, December 16th, 2022, I'm not going to lie, man, I got to go back right now, um, that don't seem like the right trailer, that just don't seem like, you know, this long and we waiting for something to happen, that just don't seem like it, right, alright, let's try another trailer real quick and see if we can... Uh, we're gonna look at somebody else's stuff because I don't, I don't, I honestly don't think that was it. All right, so 20th century Fox. As far as the guy who put this out, I still don't think this is the right thing, but. Boom, there's a uh, <laughs> Vin Diesel in, in, in Avatar. It's dope, man. This looks more like a new Avatar 2 trailer. That last video, man, it must be a fan made or maybe they put out. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I don't know if this is actually the, the trailer for it because I can't find the trailer for it right now, but I did just mention I just mentioned about Fast and Furious. And the reason why, because a series like that, that's one of the best series. They were able to keep doing movies, keep doing movies, putting them together, and every, actually make them better and different and do different things. That's why everybody mentions like that's one of the greatest series of movies. Bad Boys, they were able to do the same thing. So, but there's not many series. Uh, Friday, um, there's uh, there's a lot of movies, but. There weren't too many movies that were able to do that. So looking at this movie and I'm like, you know, the biggest movie series that does that is Fast and the Furious and they were able to make it better and better and better. So I mentioned that and then now we're looking at this trailer and So he's the bad guy in this movie, huh? That's it. I still think that's a fan made. Kind of look like a fan made trailer. I want to say, I really can't tell. Um, it looks good. I want to say it's not the real thing though, because when you get the real trailers, like there's no guessing, especially with movie companies of this caliber. There's no guessing, like there, you can tell. Mmm. So we can't get a full synopsis. We dropping this right now if it's coming out. If y'all can confirm, please comment. Uh, actual link to the actual 
official trailer if y'all find it. If they haven't dropped it yet, dropped it yet, let me know. When it does drop, drop it in there. Let me do my thing with it. The other stuff. I'm excited, but disappointed at the same time right now. Because it was like, that's not, <laughs> that's not what we were looking for. Uh, but I will say this. I think Avatar, when they do do another Avatar, if they do do it, I think Avatar is going to be a good movie. I think it's going to be really good. I think it's going to be just as good as the first movie. And as far as right now, from this anticipation, because technically we have not watched the actual uh, Avatar trailer. Yeah, see, there's a, there's a lot of concept trailers, but I don't think there's anything that's actually official. And that's because it's going to be a really big movie. So just off of looking at this and being excited for it, I'm definitely going to watch the movie. I think it's a movie to go to the movies and watch with the kids, with the family, or whatever you, whatever you do. Um, by yourself, whatever. I, I, I think it's a movie to go to the movies and watch the actual theater. Um, so I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it an eight. The reason why I'm gonna give it an eight is because we have not watched the official trailer yet. This is just anticipation, and you know, we're just kind of like, hey, waiting to see what goes on, what happens. So we can't give it a ten. We can't give it a twenty. We just give it an eight. And uh, we're going to roll with that. But anyway, it's Matt so serious. Matt just playing. Hitman pain. Everything Matt. Like, comment, subscribe. And we will be back.